Here's an example of why some of the OEMs like Ford, Chevy, and Dodge just don't get it sometimes. Uh, this, in this case, this is a 2021 Chevy 2500 and the new generation of Chevy and GMC HD pickup trucks, when they went to the new body style, they've made their beds narrower than they used to be. So for those of you who liked to put the seven way electrical plug right behind the driver's side fender wheel in the wall of the bed here, there's now no longer enough room between the inner and outer layer of the bed to do that effectively. It's, it's literally the width of the, of the plug. So that leaves you coming back to this area back here, or you can utilize the space that they put in it. But here's what doesn't make any sense. Okay, so they've got the little plug for the hole in this case because it, it doesn't have the puck system. We just put in a BMW uh, turnover ball gooseneck hitch in this. And so it, since it doesn't have the factory prep package, this is not a seven-way, four-way combo. So they got a plug in there. You pull that out. Okay, I've already disconnected the pins from the back side. And what would normally come in your seven-way plug-in bed kit, there's your coiled-up cable with your standard seven-way RV plug with the OEM car connector on the back. You put that in there, and you got that nice little gap in the top. <laughs> Why they are going with the same type of plug that they have in their bumper back here is just ridiculous because, okay, so now you got to go get this guy, which has the same U.S. car connector on the back of it, as the standard seven way, so it'll plug into your, your harness. And then in order to fill up that whole thing, you go get this guy, which is the seven way on one end, four way on the other, and put that guy in there to seal up the hole. But why would you ever need a four way wiring plug in the bed of the truck? The only place you're ever gonna need a four way is back here at the bumper. So why General Motors is putting that massive cutout in the back just so that you can use the same plug that they put on the back is crazy and then to complicate it i already reached in here and grabbed this earlier i don't know if i can get it back again it fell through here's the part from the factory where i'll plug that in and then bring the top of that back over sorry we got to go over here doing gravel um but anyways the other end of their electrical are just blunt cut wires okay blunt cut wires right here so this guy the one that would fill up the entire plug or the entire hole these are not available in hard wire versions where you can take these wires here and hard connect them inside the plug you have to get a us car connector like this right here so by the time you buy the kit that you, where you put one of these, I think you can get one of these right here with like a 12 inch lead on it where it's just, you get this end on, it comes down like 12 inches and then it's bare wires. Hook those bare wires to this, these bare wires so that you now have this end and then this to plug into that. You're, you're spending twice the amount of money that you normally would have on just this guy here and a standard seven way plug in the bed just so that you don't have that funky looking gap above the plug. The easy fix for this is just to make that a round hole for a regular seven way without that. And why, why do this? Why not, why not just provide the OEM plug on the back of it? I, I don't, I don't understand that, but anyways, so now you've got to buy this and this, and you're not even going to use this that came in this kit it's no longer used to make that look right and then you have a four-way plug in the bumper or in the bed that you're never going to use general motors come on <laughs>